Having the right savings mindset might be the key to long-term money management. The president of Castlemark Wealth Management, Robin Thompson, joins us to share some five mindset shifts that can lead to big savings. Welcome, Robin. Thanks Thank for you. being here. Thanks for having me. So how important is the savings mindset towards all of this? It is the foundation of everything. When you think about the decision to either spend or save, it all comes down to two factors. It comes down to behavior and choice. And when you think about that and you think about mindset, it's about understanding the habits that you have around money. It's kind of like when you go on a fad diet. If you go on a diet, you'll lose weight the first little while, but if you don't change your mindset or your patterns mm -hmm. around how you eat, you'll put back weight on when you go back to eating your normal way. So same mm -hmm. with money. So you need to train yourself to be able to make conscious, intentional decisions with your money so you get to save more for the future and also enjoy life for today. Right, and that can be really hard to get out of those spending mm -hmm. patterns or saving patterns mm -hmm. that some people may have. Absolutely. It's actually a new survey came out said that 50% of Canadian homeowners do not actually use a budget, which is one of those words that everyone's like, budget, mm -hmm. ah. but it's one of the surefire ways to tap, click, and swipe your way through all of your money. If you don't have a good understanding of what's coming in and what's going out, after a while that starts to really eat up all of your income. So if you think about a coffee here and there isn't really going to derail your retirement plans, but if you think about a coffee for you, a coffee for your spouse, you eat out lunch, you Uber and dinner, those small choices over time start to add up to hundreds and thousands of dollars that takes away from your retirement, takes away from all of the things that you want to do with your life. So you really need to start thinking about it in a different way. Right. So let's talk about the, these mindset shifts. And mm -hmm. the first one you have here is tracking your spending, mm -hmm. that budget that you mentioned. Yes. So the budget is so important, again, because it gives you an opportunity to be able to understand where your money is going and how you want to um, take that money and put it into different areas that are more important to you. So you have to track your budget. And how about a savings goal? You, mm -hmm. you, you know, how important is that to, to work towards something? Mm -hmm. Well, that's the thing. I think when you think about savings goals and you have something to work forward to, it gives you that incentive. It gives you that drive and motivation. So if you were to say, I'd like to retire, I'd like to go on my bucket list trip around the world, what is it that you would like to do? So when you start to allocate money towards that goal, what's going to happen is you're going to start to see the money build up in the account. So it's going to motivate you to continue to want to save towards whatever it is that you're working on. So it's important to tie that back because then you're going to start to make different decisions with the money you're allocating to other places because you're saving towards a goal and you're getting closer and closer as you go. Right, and I guess this ties in with giving your money a job or a specific purpose. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing is that we all work for a living. We all work for money. So give your money a job. So what is the money going to do for you. So part of your money's job could be, this is my keep the lights on, have to make sure we still have a roof over our head. Part of it could be, this is my retirement money. Part of it could be, this is my bucket list travel money. It's about looking at the money and rearranging it in a way that you have some more power. So what you're going to see is that maybe when you're looking at the money job, maybe one of those is debt. You might look at it and say, I have a lot of money going towards my debt. How do I reduce that? So it might be, oh, 18% credit card interest rates. I can use my line of credit out in five, pay that off and have the difference and put that towards another bucket. So you start to become very intentional with where your money is and how you're spending it. And for some people, it may help to make their money visible. Yes. And I've seen this on TikTok. Yes. And you mentioned it here. Mm -hmm. It's a really cool trend that's going yeah. around called cash stuffing. Cash stuffing, if you can believe it. TikTok trend. It's about cash stuffing. So, you know, depending on how you know old you are when you're watching this at home and in, in, in olden times we used to put them in mason jars but now it's about taking money that you have putting it into envelopes and saying this is what I have to spend for the week on certain items and when it's over it's over some people need to have the visual reminder of this is all I have because in the digital world it's too easy for us just to swipe and click and digitize away our money so put it into an envelope understand what you're spending use it in a way that supports you it's not going to be forever but do it until you get into a habit of it right and just quickly before we go yes. questioning the value of what yes. you're actually buying I know do you know that if you switch to no-name brand groceries at the grocery store you can save 20% on your grocery bill wow. 20% yes. so I'm not saying you should run out and do that but what I'm saying is that understand the value for what you're paying know that the money that's going towards specific items is actually worth the items do a value check on your system and be like mm, this is worth it to me this is not worth it to me and just be really clear on what those goals are awesome well thank you so much for joining us Robin Thompson from Castle Mark it was wow. great to be here thank thanks you. so much